Hello and welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel, everybody. It's time for the number one RC channel to be on the air. That's right. There is no better. Yeah. <laughs> and we got some real exciting stuff for you tonight. We're going to take cucumbers and show you how to make bombs. Yes, we've got our cucumbers ready. That's right. Cucumber. <laughs> if you don't see that on any other RC, that's channel, right. You'll you never, never see that. See that. <laughs> well, it's thank you guys for coming by and being with the boozers. We really appreciate it. We do, we do. And we want to start off tonight. We had some questions last week, yep. and Papa's got his old Tower Hobbies magazine he's busted out on me. Somebody asked us last week if you were to use Monaco or mm -hmm. some kind or of uh, one of these balsa, one of these balsa shiny and coverings. You wanted to weather it. Mm -hmm. And you were going to use some kind of a gas powered, gas powered airplane. any kind of plane, what would you use to seal the plane? And right. The only answer I have is the answer I know that I used in the past to do it. In the Tower book, there was luster coat made by Top Flight. Yep. And it looks like that. Okay, it's in a spray can. And it says in the tower book, the most fuel-proof one-part spray acrylic lacquer paint available. Yep. And it says on the can that you can, it's, uh, it says used on balsa plywood, fiberglass aluminum, ABS plastic, or monocoat covered surfaces. Yep. And all we wanted to let you guys know is that we have used this in the past and it does work to fuel proof your weathering, panel lines, yeah, everything you that you it. put on your balsa airplane to keep it from rubbing off or from coming off from fuel hitting. Now, if, if they don't, if Tower doesn't make this stuff, anybody, somebody's got to be making this. Yeah. I, don't I, I believe they is. still make it. Well, maybe they do, but uh, Luster Coat uh, is what it's called. Uh, by top flight. So that answers that question. Now, next question. Answer that I told them that I was going to do. Okay. And Jeff's custom, Jeff's RC. And Raven Rock Aviation. I've, so I've showed this before, but they asked me what size the holes or what pin I use to make the Papa Dots. So the answer is Zig Z I G Rider. And uh, you can find this at Hobby Lobby, any of the artsy craftsy stores. Mm -hmm. Go back into the pins. Again, is Jeff in here? Does anybody know? Yeah, we, we can't see the comments right at the moment. He probably is, though. Jeff, are you in? Okay, Jeff, here we go again. Zig Rider. It doesn't have a uh, number on it, but uh, it's, I use the, the small end. Of the pen. Well, we, we and anyway, the moment, Zig Rider is what I use to do the dots, and the other answer is a quarter inch between the holes. So that answers that question, right? So anyway, yeah. There we anyway, go. we now, wanted to get hit, hit the stuff that we've been asked about, though. Um, you know, those were some of the bigger questions we got last week, and we wanted to bring all those answers. Yeah. So I'll get rid of that. But so we can get on with the show. We did. So, we also have, next week, guys, we're going to be unboxing the Black Horse HE-111. It's sitting here beside me. Um, and tonight, we're going to be doing the P-47. Um, what you're going to be watching us actually build over the next few weeks is going to be this on the Sunday shows. Uh, Dad's going to take the P-47 home and just put it together. And uh, we're going to write up a Hobby Squawk for him about how it's put together, if you want to see that. But we're going to focus more on building this one. A lot of guys have really been interested in the HE-111 and the actual build, and it's just an airplane you don't see very often. So what we've got planned... I know P-47s plane, you see a lot, but... So, so to give you a little bit more detail of what I will be doing on this plane, as I start, I will probably use the instructions, if there's instructions, and follow those instructions, because I'm an instruction-following person. But I, if, what I will do is if I, like I start on the wing, I will take 
photograph. If I start, if I install the servo first, then I'll take uh, a picture. picture of that servo. And, and any kind of modification. And has if to do. I had to modify it in any way, add some wood or something like that, then I will. And I think Wesley wants me to do this per day. So there's going to be a special. Right. We're going to upload on Hobby Squawk. You're going to be able to go and as he starts the process. Each day, at the end of the day, he's going to make a write-up about what he did that day on yeah. the build. And so you can still follow along, um, whereas on this one, we're going to be doing this one more on the main channel here. So Yeah. I know. I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> we, like that. He doesn't like filming on that. film. Because it makes what? you look like an idiot. Something <laughs> that's so small can come out. And, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just... And I'm not saying that we might not build it live, but... We might give you updates each week okay, on the better. channel. That's what I'm saying. So um, let's get to show them how to build. Right. Okay. Let's show these things. So Lori, would you top shot real quick? We'll show them what the pickles are for. So we literally do actually have cucumbers right now. For some reason, funny enough, when there's no pickles on the box, this don't it, focus. Can't focus. it can't focus. <laughs> Isn't this the weirdest thing, guys? We put the pickles up here. Hand on here. And it focuses. Ah. <laughs> so we were just messing with that earlier is what the pickles are from. Pickles. But uh, what we're going to do is it's probably going to lose focus for a second. We're going to slide this top off. And maybe it will focus on the rest of it. Right, once the airplane's out. Of here. We were just joking about the pickle yeah, we thing. we just about the pickle thing. All right. I'm going to spin this around, though. Oh, baby. I'm it's like the old guys. days. So we're going to stand up for a second. I think we're going to be on the top shot for a second. This really reminds Lori, me would you bring us in a little bit, please? Old days. And it, this, guys, I already snuck a peek. I wanted to make sure there was no damage before the show tonight. You know, I know with Motion RC, if something did get damaged in shipping, they would take care of us. But I wanted to make sure before we got there, um, knives right somewhere up there. Um, that we get here with no damage. So here we go. Lori's zooming it in right now. So I'm going to go on and give you the big one right out of the box because it's here. What? Scissors are right over there. Where? Here. Come here. Scissors right over there. Really? They're the kitchen scissors, but you can use them. Anyway. <laughs> what? Yeah, he just wants to be able to cut the plastic off. So we're going to start with the big part here, even though I normally make you wait, because I'm a nice guy tonight. So, it is a beautiful looking bird. Here it is, in all of its glory. The pilot figure is beautiful, and one of my favorite things about a brand new balsa plane. Oh, the smell. It just... it. This reminds me of my childhood, and I don't know what it is when I'd go down to Dad's old barn where he'd build the airplanes, and it always smelled like this smell when you first open a balsa plane. It always smelled like this. It doesn't smell like nitro. It smells like the balsa when you first open a balsa kit. I'm going to slide this off. It's hanging up on the wall. Right there. I looked right at it. All right, guys. So here we go. What you can see right out of the box is it yep. comes Papa Dotted. You don't have to do it. No Papa Dots. It's already done. The finish is fantastic on this Nexus plane. Nexus, uh, not Nexus. Now, this is where this plane here is where the and the pilot are figure is great. The fuel proofing on this plane would be that top flight stuff that I showed you. If you are going to use uh, gas. gas. Now we're going to be electric, so we don't have to worry about that. But this, this is a great looking pilot. This figure. could be a two stroke 60, a two stroke 91, a four stroke 100, I would guess, on this airplane. Would be in the nitro swirl. Now I'm not, I don't know anything about this gas stuff, so that the new gas stuff they put out because they have they did convert some of that two stroke over to gasoline but I can't talk, tell you about it because I did not experience that that's about the time I was getting out and retiring and I had no experience with that but in the old days that would be a this would be a two stroke 90 and just to show you it does come prepared for electric 
So it's got a hatch already built in with magnets and everything to put your battery in. Or this would be where your gas tank would go. Yeah, if this was a gas powered one, you'd probably put your gas tank. And your gas tank would be right here and it'd feed through. But it side. already has the hatch pre-built. Beautiful plane. I, I mean, the, the finish on it is what I was trying to get across. I mean, I'm just amazed how great the outside of this looks and the way they can put those rivet details the, uh, on them. The push rods, the, the, the rods are already installed in it. Or the, uh, the push rods aren't, but no, the, the rods uh, are not, there's, but the tubes there's are tubes on. The already tubes installed. Go to the rudder and the elevator. And then you've got your tail wheel hatch. I mean, guys, it's an impressive looking airplane. You ever go balsa, man, they are sure pretty. So, I'm but, gonna you, set, but you will have to learn how to repair. Or put it up here so I can set that on it. Uh, that, that's where the old days of building one sure did come in handy. Nah, you can still just buy parts now. <laughs> but, but, but if I had a problem with this fuse, I'd just fix Build it. Build it, right. But, uh, All right, so you got a knife, right? You got it out? Right, right here, right here. All right, so let's get into this carefully. Not to cut anything that I'm not supposed to cut on. Well, somebody's saying it would be a 20 to 30 cc gas. I I don't know. I don't think it's that big. Maybe. I don't know the gas like you guys do. I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah, neither me or it'd my be, father have ever done gasoline. It'd be though. one of the smaller... We did nitro. It'd be one of the smaller gas engines for this particular airplane. And I, I, will, I will agree that I would go gas instead of nitro on this gasoline is just so and, much and more reliable probably tells you the, the instruction book probably tells you the, the gas motor to use in it so i'm gonna look so up. here I'm we go it's really neat metal. too i mean if you've never looked at a real airplane a real p47 would have fabric uh tail covers or tail uh what do you want to call it a rudder would have been and it's actually ribbed just like the real one would be most of the instruction books are normally You can see good. right here with the way the light's hitting it, uh -huh. what they've done to make this lighter. There's a big hole right there. There's a big hole right here, here, under the monocoat. They do that to lighten this airplane this up. Is, I don't think this is monocoat. This looks more like the, the stuff that's like maybe a paper. It's, it's, a, it's not a stretchy material. It's the kind of the glue on stuff, guys. Yeah, they do give you two extra pieces to repair. So if you have to do a repair, you could match your colors. Yeah. You get a hole in it, whatever. And then you stick it on there. Guniac, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. But yeah, they give you these extra little stickers here. So that if you ever poke a hole in your, your covering, you can cover it with this stuff. Or... So, yeah. Or you could buy you a can of the or you could coat, and but it's nice. And grab and fix it. Right, <laughs> but it's nice because if you do have it, you've got an exact color match to cover your hole with. So that's nice that they thought of that, and you get that right out of the box. It's really neat, you guys. Want, you want to show them these that you're there on the sticker? Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of go over some stickers with you real quick. I mean, it I'm comes with some more stickers since he's going over it. Um, you know, all well, the little no steps and things. Well, I, I, was, I was way large on this. It says glow engines is a 46.2 stroke you know, and a stickers. 74 stroke. But it doesn't say anything about a gas, but it says one a other neat 46 thing. size airplane. I don't know. I probably put a 60 on it. One other neat thing on this, the uh, control surfaces are pre-hinged on all of this That's model. So you don't got to glue your hinges in. Which is always so a pain in the butt. It says it takes a 70 to 700 to 800 watt brushless motor. Is what it says. And it says a 5 cell 4500 LiPo battery. <laughs> well, ours, we're going to be honest. We have ordered the 1700 millimeter FMS Corsair motor and prop, and we're going to put it on here. We think it's going to look very scale. Uh, it this would be is all kind of overpowered. But it might be a little overpowered, but I'd rather that than it be underpowered. That's what the book says, guys, uh, as far as the motors, if that helps you any. Uh, what I really wanted was the 1500 millimeter. Okay, and it says it takes a seven channel, yeah. seven servos, 
to for the the minimum it says uh, ailerons elevator rudder throttle flat so it says seven if you had a gas engine it would be seven yeah, on an electric it's going to be six because you don't have the throttle servo but uh, trying to get into this uh, oh i didn't mean to rip it like that but i did but anybody anybody got any more questions and i'll be happy to look it up in the instruction book if you got any questions Okay, so somebody, it says, some of us like the extra power, 15cc to 20cc gas. So, okay, I'm, I'm, you got Belly it. pan Thank by you. the look of it. This is Mr. probably... Young blood, I'll take yeah, your that's what it is. If you were flying it. I, this I, is I, the belly plan. Okay. Pan. There you go. Nothing too fancy. It's a plastic piece that goes on the bottom of the plane. You can't see it right now, though, because I'm not looking that direction. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, and this is your motor cowling. This goes in the mo in the cowling to make your simulated engine. You'll have to cut this out depending on what size shaft and motor you have to make it fit. Uh, we'll probably be cutting some of this out to let some air get through it. And uh, you know me, guys. I will probably end up repainting this whole thing to make it look more realistic. Not a big deal to do some dry brushing on it. I'm looking through the instruction book, guys, to tell you what I think from my first thoughts on the instruction book. It looks very detailed. Uh, it looks very well. Oh, I think this is a bomb. Uh, this, this is a very detailed instruction book. Drop tank? Uh, I think you'd be very happy with this. Uh, Drop tank, bomb, one of the two. Not it does yet. come with an engine cowl or an in, a, 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 a dummy radial engine yep, for the show front it of it. These are going to um, be out on the, the pylons for the wings probably. Just guessing. I haven't looked at the instructions yet. We're just taking it out of the box. I'm, I'm impressed with the uh, instruction book, guys. I don't think you would be disappointed. Your wheel that. pants. Now, the retracts are installed in the wing already, but these are your little plastic wheel pants that are going to go on them to make it look a little prettier. So that's what that is. That's all your... Are y'all going to run this on success? Yes. Success. success. 5,000. Success, 5,000. We want to get as much time in the air as we can. I yeah. hope we can... We could probably... I'm, we're hoping this is going to be like six to seven minutes. Yeah. At least, at least six to yeah. seven minutes. I mean, if you, well, it's gonna it's gonna fly the same amount of time that the Corsair did. Right, and then we was if you really fly it, um, you know, late, uh, uh, don't really push the throttle all the way. You're gonna. Do you guys want me to open to this, or can minutes? I leave it in the package? For and we're now. gonna guess this airplane is gonna. If you have the the sixteen hundred Flightline Corsair. This airplane is going to come in. It could be lighter than that airplane. It is actually impressive how light this airplane is. Also, if it's built right, this has got holes drilled all in this. This is this is if you feel it, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it it's, oh yeah, it's it's, it's, it's ribbed. A, it, this oh, this is a built up tail. That's a it's, built up it, tail. It's not so a solid piece. This of, is not a solid piece. And of even wood. Even, even the elevators are built up. Yep. So it's not a solid piece of. They've bone. really focused on making they're, this. They're making this very light, light here. How that's how you do it. The fuse. Uh, the fuse is one sheeted piece. It's one of the only spots on the airplane so, that doesn't have. You know. Bit. Oh, let's put that back down. It's giving them too much looking. But yeah, oh. this is uh, that's how they lighten this up, guys. So this airplane, I'm going to say it's, it's going to be very lightweight. Be lighter than a foamy, but I can't guarantee you that. But it, uh, we'll figure it out at the end. My own opinion. It's All right, we'll get really the wings high. out. I did already the, cheat and is, cut it. Is the wings all built up? Or are they, yep. Are they, See them? Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, the leading edge is sheeted. The leading edge is sheeted. And then it's got spars in here, yep. which, which is empty in here. So there's your lightening up here. That's the way most wings Let me are see built. if I can get it up here and show. Because with the light hitting them just right, you can actually see it. See the spars. See it? So the spar is right across here, but this part is hollow. And what that does is this is making this lighter. Light is the key to making an airplane fly good is if you can build it light. There's a spar right there. Hollow. Spar. Hollow. Spar. 
So, you know, that's how they make this light. Now, the front leading edge, where you're going to bonk it into doors and stuff, this is sheeted to make this stiffer right in here so you don't get as many dings. Now, I will say, it the depends on the balsa, it, but if you grab this, it, it depends on the quality of the It depends on balsa, how it's built, but this, but is, this is pretty this, thick. Well, it's pretty thick, I can already tell you, but some of those balsa bill hair yep. plates, if you grab them too hard, you'll crack it just by trying Look to... Look at how them. beautiful all the panel lines are on this, though. I mean, they're very scale-looking. Nice they're airplane. small. Very nice. pre papa dotted. We love it. Yep. Nice Look airplane. how much time that got saved. All the little inspection holes. Nice airplane. Beautiful airplane. Just to give y'all a real good up close, but I mean, it's got every little inspection hatch. The covering doesn't have any bubbles in it. I mean, it's a good looking airplane, guys, and it's it's the right color. You know, a lot of monocoat planes, well, this isn't monocoat, but it's dull. It's dull from the factory. You don't got to spray any kind of clear on it. And it's shiny in the spots it's supposed to be shiny. Yeah, it's dull, dull in the spots that, that are supposed to be dull. Stuff. That's right. It's got all the panel hatches and all I mean, that every on. little hatch is okay, on. Okay, turn it over and let's so, look at the, the servos uh, uh, holes are already there. You don't even have to cut them out. Some of these wood airplanes, uh -huh. you had to cut them out and do all this and cover it. But uh, that's already done for you. It's already cut out for 9 gram servos. Looks like 9 gram. Uh, or what is I can't it? remember what the no. They're seventeen gram. Seventeen the, uh, gram. They're cut out for that, but you yeah. could go a large. You could like you, you can knock this out and go bigger. Bigger servos. On the ailerons, you have the but option. All, I did go with the seventeen gram servos, which is what the cutout is. But if you go with a bigger servo, you just knock this piece out. It's already got laser etching on it, to where you just have to cut it out the rest of the way to get that out of there. Um, and then this little piece has a string attached that goes to the end so that you can hook your servo wire to it and then pull it through the wing. Now, one of the things that Papa's going to tell you, and on, but that was quarter scale, I never did have a problem with a wood-built airplane, on, but the elevator is the most crucial part to make sure that the servo can handle the nose weight. It depends if you have to balance the plane with a lot of nose weight. If you have to fly that airplane in the in the elevator has to keep the nose up which is a then you're I'm gonna say make sure you have a large enough servo you have a metal gear servo and a metal servo arm, arm. I don't know if you're gonna have to worry about it as much on but this small not, of an not airplane, this airplane but, but on like our storch we have a metal servo arm, arm and a metal servo I, I mean everything's that, metal on our store that the hard way guys you got a lot of pressure there but now one thing I will say you get suspension struts right out of the box remember guys it came with the little piece that's gonna go on here I, it's in a separate container um, right here I just have to put this together and put it on there. Somebody's uh, been paying attention to Papa and his dots. <laughs> These dots look, I mean, they look just it like what like he does with the pen. Like if you really get in there and look at it, other than they're laser accurate. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> I mean, there ain't I mean, one off. off but, anywhere, but yeah. yeah. It really is nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually super impressed with this, especially for the price. Okay, Lori's yelling at me that I need to look at the screen. Is that full gray coat with white and black? So... It's actually different monocoats, guys. So, it's not monocoat. well, it's not monocoat. I'm sorry. Monocoat. Everybody gets mad if I call it that. It's, it's not, not monocoat. monocoat. It's a bad habit. This, this is, is one I kind of covering. This is one piece of covering, and then this is actually a different type of covering going over the green. So this is actually a shiny. You can see it. It's all different pieces. Well, it was actually, it's actually, that is not a piece stuck over that. That's actually printed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like. another piece stuck. It's right. not, it, the, the wing wasn't sheeted all in green and this stuck over it. It's actually printed on a printing machine where that's. Uh, I don't know how to explain it yet. That, that's not a, that's not another. In the old days, what we do is put another piece of Monaco over this to make these. We 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 cover this green part and the other part, and then you'd come back and you cut strips of monaco and put on top of that. That's not the way this is. This is all printed. There's nothing to peel off here in the wind. Uh, it the only peel the off. only splice point. See if I can actually get a tree and see it right there. 
Now, whoever put that on there is really good at covering stuff oh, over yeah. in, in Vietnam or wherever they're building these now, but uh, that is extremely hard to make now, one piece of cover and cover now, like that. Now, the next question is, does it bubble out in the sun? Don't know. Well, the, the, the storch hasn't. It's covered in the same stuff. Well, in a real hot sun. Now, I, yeah, never have you never want to really leave your model in the direct sun all day. That's yeah. not good. But, well, yeah, I, well, I'm days, really actually impressed. In the days though. of Monaco, you could, but it would bubble. It would start to wrinkle. Right? Um, and the other cool thing, right out of the box, all your hinges this, are already done for you. This is not Monaco. This you is know, kind of a, a and they're real hinges in there, guys. I mean, these are pin hinges. It's stuck on the. It's, it's more of a printed. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with this airplane. For the price, guys, this is a fantastic plane. And s some of these Nexa planes are coming in under two hundred dollars. That is, I mean, you're getting a heck of an airplane for that. This is one of the more expensive Nexa airplanes, but you do. You got to take into consideration you're getting your electric retracts, you're getting your uh, wheels, wheel suspension. It's all already pre-installed, wired. Back in the old days, I had to buy this separate. Yeah, you had to buy you this had, piece separate. You had to buy that separate. So, you had to buy, you know, all that stuff. It, you had to buy separate. The, the difference in, well, and it's then funny. The pilot, you have the pilot the in, there, in the olden nice days. We, we come from ye olden days of... Uh, balsa planes too. Yeah, the, so you I had mean, to buy the pilot. You, had you, to you didn't get pilot. a good pilot like this back in the olden days. I mean, that pilot is fantastic. You that get comes a pilot. In this you had to paint it. I mean, and the cockpit, I, you can't see it right now, but it actually has a cockpit with separate little gauges down in there. Man, I just can't get it to where you can see it. But they're actually, if you look in there, it's not a sticker. It's actually an actual little instrument panel in there, and it is really neat. And they did the gun side. Well, another thing, here's something that I always did, and a lot of people didn't do, but I always riveted this with screws, and they did the same yep. thing I did. They, and this, so if you need to get in there, you just do the that. the cockpit. Uh, or the this down so you could get in there, and that's the way I used to do my airplane. And the nice thing about them doing it that way versus gluing that on there is now you can get in there if you want to customize. Yeah. It's easy to get into your cockpit. But, I mean, I've been really impressed that, with this that airplane. That was something I used to do myself. Really? I mean, honestly, guys, for the price of this, this is amazing me that we're getting to this point now. But, okay, let's see. Let's slide the wings over real quick into the chair and we'll lay all this out on the table here in just a minute after we get everything out of the box we only have a few more things left very impressed the cowling um we'll unwrap this here in just a second i want to get the box off the table and get the airplane down here yeah, well it comes with a gas tank looks like a like a 15 ounce gas yep, tank. it comes with a gas tank oh a lot a lot of uh machine guns where the heck the machine guns go in the wings probably Really? I have no idea. What are they? Oh, they're no, full, those are... That's weird. Guns. That's full 50 caliber machine yeah. guns. I don't know what we're going to do with those. I don't know. And then this is Maybe nothing. Maybe it's cheaper to make them that way and make them all and cut the okay. barrels off. So I'm going to slide this over to the side because we do have to put everything back in here so Dad can take it home with him. Yeah. I'm the best son ever. I'm just saying. I send Dad home with brand new balsa airplanes yeah. he gets to play with. All right, so we're going to bring all the stuff. Laura, if you want to go back to the front view for just a second, we're going to get everything laid out on the table in front of us, guys. Oh, well, that goes on there. Goes right there. And if y'all have questions for us about this kit, let us know, and we will gladly answer them right now. If there's something you're wanting to I'm see, lay this back the way it was. This, this goes together. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait! Don't set it on the table because it'll dent the monocoat. Put it on this. Yeah. Oh my God. You don't think we're going to get hanger rash on this thing? No. We'll never get any hanger rash on anything yeah. I own. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to keep it pretty for a little bit. He crashed yeah. an airplane today. I did. <laughs> I crashed the little F-22 today. For? But I, I mean, you'll see it. You'll see it. What's this for? What's what for? What's this phone thing? I just, if you wanted to set a part on it or something. But do you guys have any questions? Is there anything you want to see right now um, on the airplane? trying to go through let's see um i don't know if there's anybody else that has one of these next p47s right now but i'm excited to do it um the you, one we are missing the touch of texas sticker from the front i've already talked to motion they're sending us another one uh, um the the uh decals are actually the clear that you would really iron on 
Well, you to me, you cut them out. No, they're already cut out. Well, they're already cut. Yeah, out. you peel the plastic part peels off, and then you iron it on, and then you peel the plastic off. Okay, so anyway, yep. good these good. are these are the stickers that we've gotten used to now. Where it, it, they're, I love these stickers actually. These are my preferred type of sticker where you iron them on; they don't come off, and I really and, like and, these. And, all the, and you don't get the film. It comes with detail. Oh, I mean to tell you, I mean, we're gonna be you're gonna be stickers. putting no step on this thing yeah. ten thousand times. I mean, very detailed as far as everything that goes on there, as far as the warning stickers and the where to fill it and all that stuff is on there. Very nicely done. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm super impressed with. It. I know it's not the biggest balsa plane in the world that we could have done, but uh, it's kind of that sweet spot for me. This size airplane, fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred well, millimeter is, warbird. Is, you know, another thing about this bird is, is you can stick it in the car. That's right. Yeah, I can put this in the car without taking the wing off once it's, it's, it's put together. Uh, you know, That's a big plus for me. So my sweet spot now, I've, I've kind of decided, is 1500 to 1600 millimeter. Well, I've always said the Flightline 1600 was the, you know, Right, really the nice. Corsair. Yeah, um, the Spitfire. You know, there's the FMS foam P47. It's the same size. It's 1500 millimeter. Um, but I really wanted the balsa one, and there, there's something about the way a balsa plane flies. It's different. I'm telling you, it's just different, and until you have one, you can't put your finger on it. But I loved the FMS 1500. Now, I'm going to be but, honest with everybody out there. Balsa does not take the impact that a phone Oh, no. Oh, no. If you crash this, you're this gonna is, cry. This is after please, you've gotten guys, used to flying. But you, Lori's got it up on there right now too. Get through a point where you are very confident with your foamies, mm -hmm. especially your warbirds, and you don't crash. You don't, you know, not that's hard to say. Don't crash, but you don't ding them as much as you did when you first right. started. You're pretty confident with your airplane. Then go to this because. Right. Uh, unless you're a skilled person that has started uh, like to repair stuff, then you don't want to follow uh, the, the boss. I'm mean, just I, I'm, I don't want you to be disappointed in going to your boss airplanes before you're ready to do it. Right. Not I to definitely say you can't. I don't want yeah. to knock anybody down, but I just you know buy your your big warbird foamy get used to it mm -hmm. when you really get confident get in here i can't get agree this. enough i i would see before you really go big ball so that if you want to and you're go willing for it. go for it but if you're looking to get into balsa i always recommend a warbird a warbird is a great airplane but but have the confidence to fly a foamy first and save yourself a lot of pain you know if you were to go out and buy <laughs> You wanted this P47. Go grab the FMS one, fly it a little bit, get used to it. Take the power system out of it when you crash it and put it into this after you've gotten used to the airplane. Or, you know. Well, if, if, if it works for us, you know, I, I, whatever. We, yeah, uh, but, you know, it's. I, but, we love our ball planes, but be ready to commit to this because when you crash, they're not as easy to just. And glue they, it together they, with they, hot glue I'm or saying, whatever else. You know, I thought the foam would not take the impact. It does. I mean, it takes a hit. But between the foam and, and a wood plane, the wood plane does not take, it doesn't like the cartwheel. No. Nope. It will come apart. It will, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. But, but it, it's just the honest I'm truth. The we honest think truth. that these are fantastic airplanes, but wait until you've got a little experience before you get if, if to you one of these. If you can fly the wings off of a, that Corsair, right? That if sixteen hundred millimeter Corsair, Corsair you're flying fire, the heck out of it. Go for this. Go for it. You're gonna love it. Now, Kent it. is back in here right now, and he's asking if I can show the bottom of the wing because he's wanting to see the retract. You bet you, buddy. We'll do it for you real quick. Laura, if you'll pop us back to the front or the top. Here you go, Kent. There it is. It is a suspension strut retract that does actually oleo. I did it a minute ago. It's kind of not the easiest right now because it's in the wheel well. And it does have the covers. I just haven't put them on yet, but here's the covers for the wheel wells. Um, I, but, you know, we're still not putting this together just yet. Your servo mounts are, oops, right here. There we go. Are already cut out where your flap goes. They do give you a string pre-installed in from one end all the way up to the end 
to where you can pull your wires through without having to run and come get them through there. Well, you just tie it to the. They didn't give you the covers for your. The uh, guns. Is that the guns? Or? I, I thought that would be for the servo. Uh, maybe. Rod come out maybe. It might be. Know, and I mean, it's fun. beautiful, Kent. As you can see, all riveted straight out of the box. Oh, and I'll give you the top again for you guys that are getting here late. I just told him we just lost power. It's easy enough to just say, oh, power just went out. You can still hear us. <laughs> no sound. No sound. Oh, we're back up. Oh, is it on? It's still on. Everything's still running. It's, what is going on? It's weird. Is this working? That's working, but... Is YouTube live? It comes and back. it's back! What? What the heck? But it's back. It's back on, but I don't know. But if it's, it's like back. Turn off. Can y'all see us again? No, it's it's all running now. I can see it working on YouTube. I don't understand. We don't know what's going on right now. We don't know why the computer is turning off. Let's just change this to front view in case that happens again, so they're not just staring at. I think it's working. Yeah, I see the microphone working. Is everybody back? Okay. I think we're back. Hi, everybody. If you can see we us again, no Why we I... have no idea what's going on. Dennis Farley is on the phone with me right now because he's our viewer outside see of this. You now. Okay. Well, good. We don't know if we're going to We don't know what happened. happened. We don't know. Okay. We don't Dennis, I'm going to let you go. All right. Bye. So, stay on. We don't know what happened, everybody. All of a sudden, the computer just turned off. But it was weird because you could still hear us. Not one computer, all three of them turned well, That's just the monitors. It's only no, one no, computer. He doesn't computer. understand how that works. I understand. But... Um, sorry. We have no idea what just happened. Literally, the computer just turned off. And it might go off again. We... And if it happens again, we apologize. Yep. But we're going to keep going. We were having a good time with you guys. Yeah. It's not the internet. It was just... It turned off. We don't know. It was very weird. So. Okay. So I want to answer the question about... Since I'm the old guy that all has right. all the experience with one of these gas airplanes. And balsa. In the old days, I'd have to go out and find a motor mount. So the motor mount comes in... The, just to answer yeah. all this. The motor mount comes in the... If you're going gas or nitro. The, the, I'm going to say that's either a, it's 10, a little fuel tank. 10 ounce or 10 to 12 ounce fuel tank. It doesn't say it on the side. With the, uh, it's already got the tube stuck in the, yep. it, everything's done for you guys. I mean, this is a no brainer as far as, uh, I mean, all the They've work. they thought out everything. I used to have to put all this together and cut it all out. It's already done. The tank, so... And uh, looks like all the necessary parts to put it together, screws, all the wing bolts are even here that, that hold the wing down. You know, you get nylon bolts with most of this. I keep wanting to show it to the top shot, but the, the, the okay. nylon wing bolts are in here. I mean, this is a detailed, detailed things that I had to go out and buy are already here for you. Even the, the servo push rods have yep. the Z Oh, bits. you know, I didn't get it out. It, it, the push rods are in the box. I didn't get them out. The full length ones that go in there. And they already have, they're actually, I'm going to show you. I mean, you. these things come with the Z pins already bent. Yep. They, this is going to be your ailerons and your flat servo so push rods. And they're bent. And they put on. Just to show you too, all the, 
Oh wait, this is I'm up here. I'll just stand here. <laughs> yeah, we keep trying to show. Uh, so it's really nice. These are metal clevis. Also, for all your controls, this isn't plastic. These are metal on this, and all the Z bins are already done. What yeah. they didn't put fuel tube in here to put on your what the heck? Thing? What the heck? <laughs> even, even the bolts to mount the motor mounts on okay. are in the box. So I mean. Very, I mean, this is very, very, a lot of stuff you don't, guys don't understand if, if I go all the way back to when I, all this stuff you had to buy extra. Right. You got the plane, but you didn't get all this stuff. You might have got some control horn, but all that stuff was extra. All the, all the nylon. Uh, yep, all the nylon horn. control. I mean, Can we go back to the top view for just yeah, a second? I mean, Sorry, everybody. Guys. We, we were just a little discombobulated, but yeah, <laughs> there's all your, uh. For the guys that are asking, there's the horns. They do come in the kit. Now, the, the covers the little, the little are covers. plastic that's glued over the, the balsa. I mean, you don't have to cover them, is what I'm saying. These are actually plastic. These are for your wheels. In the old days, what you'd have to do is cut out your monocoat and, and, and actually cover this. But this is all done for you, too. I mean, this thing is... And for guys that are just getting here once again to show you the kit nice, itself. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I mean, beautiful. The finish again is fantastic on this airplane. I mean, this is this is way past what I even even on a even on the old uh, planes like this, you you didn't get all this stuff. This is just, uh, I mean, this. It really is nice, and, and I wasn't kidding. Dad wouldn't believe me when I said, I think you're going to be able to throw this one together really quickly because a lot of the work's done, I mean, right out of the box. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm we'll not, see. I'm not we'll gonna, make, but, but what I see right now, and, and for an old guy that had been doing this before, the hardest thing's going to be is to, to glue the wing halves together. And do they glue together? Yep. They sure do. They sure do. Okay. Well, there it is. In I the mean, old days, what we'd do is we'd take these view. wing halves. To, uh, uh, before we'd ever coat it, we'd put the, the wings together, but we'd use a uh, fiber mesh to, to put between the two wings to uh, give it strength, and we'd use hot stuff, mm -hmm. and we then that would really strengthen this up through the middle part of the wing because that's your... Right. Most weakest point. Well, and, and this one you can do whatever you want because it has this well, belly pan that covers the wing. Okay, so so you can glue it together however I don't you want. Know, some of you old guys can remember there was a there was a, a it was like a fiberglass woven, woven, cloth. woven fiberglass. George cloth. Watts knows what you're talking about. And we would I, they they show you how to put it on with uh, I never did like to do the. I always like the hot stuff. You just, man, you get that stuff going and it starts smoking and, and it'd be... So, fun. Kent, all you can get right now is the plane and none of the required parts. Actually, I did not buy the recommended electronics for this kit. Now, remember, this is a kit. You can put whatever you want in it. Yeah. So, I went with the Free Wing 17 gram Metal Gear servos. We've had them in all kinds of airplanes. They've never given me a problem. I didn't need the high techs. This isn't a heavy stressed servo in this airplane. You're talking about a 1500 millimeter airplane that's built very lightly. <laughs> so I went with free wing servos. I got 17 grams in the wings and a 30 gram free wing tail servo for the elevator and rudder. Um, nobody says you have to use high tech in everything. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I have high tech servos in a lot of my big stuff, but this plane, eh, I, I've had great luck out of my free wing stuff. And free wing yeah. servos are $10 a piece, and high tech servos are $20 a piece. So I cut $100 out of buying servos when I bought this airplane to do that. And then for my power system, they didn't have the power system in stock, so I ordered the FMS 1700 millimeter Corsair power system, and it's going to fly the heck out of this This is going to be swinging a 1710 prop. Yeah. So, scale. to look scale, scale, I mean, it's honestly, it'll look right on a P-47. You can see the one behind me here on the wall. Gonna, when you, when you take off, prop. I think that probably going to have a, that much clearance. You're not going to want to go over here. Go. 
Yeah, no, but, there but you go, Dave like, Kowiski. I've used free wing no servos looks. in all my yeah. balsa planes. Yeah, nobody says you have to use exactly what was the recommended. Yeah. That's a good jumping off point. But, you know, they recommend 17 gram high tech servos, but you can use 17 gram. Do get the Metal Gear and the digital. Pay up a little bit extra to get that. It's worth every penny to get Metal Gear servos that are digital. <laughs> worth every penny for that. But it's you're talking $10 a servo, and there's one, two, three, four, seven, five, six, six, six. Six servos in this airplane? Seven, seven if it's Seven gas, if you have a gas. Six if it's old. You're, you're talking 60 to $70 for the servos for this airplane, and you're talking on your power system, Anywhere from about a hundred dollars to a hundred and fifty, depending on what you put in it. Um, and then we're putting a what I really amp wanted. ESC in it, aren't we? What? Yeah. Well, I, it, what we need is an eighty amp ESC, but I already own a hundred amp ESC, so I'm just going to put it in here, and uh, we're going to use it because that saved me a little bit of money. Um, and I may run a external BEC instead of one in the ESC because I always like that extra protection if the ESC burns up for some reason I still have power to my flight controls um, we're actually going to do that on the B-25 we're going to do that on the B-25 that we're doing too yep same thing on the the until whatever it's called over here I'm going to use a power safe receiver in the HE-111 this would be other than electric you'd be doing the same thing with gas you'd be running the the, the extra battery right. or the old right. pack anyway. But, you know, you're doing the same thing. like I said, guys, the airplane is in stock right now, and you can put whatever you want in it. Yeah. Just remember that. Yeah. That's the beauty of a kit. What works for you may not work good for me or may not work for the next guy, but you can do whatever you want when you're building your airplane to your specification. The price is just for the airframe. Lori, pop it up again. I believe they're still in stock right now. Um... I think when I talked to James, they had quite a few of these in stock, actually. So there you go. That is just for what you see set in here. You get all your control rods and everything. And it, this kit looks like a great first kit to put together. Everything's laid you know, out very easily. I'm just saying, I, 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 I've done this before. There isn't anything in here that I'd have to go, oh, God, i got oh, to go have order this, something. I can't have, yeah, you've I mean, got other, everything. Other than what we're telling you, right. the servos you gotta and, get the, the, normal and the, stuff. Uh, the, the motor, mm -hmm. the rest of it's pretty well here. I mean, there's nothing else. And you know, another power system that would be great in this airplane, if you had a FMS 1500mm P47 6S, and she's getting kind of tired and wore out, buy this and take all your electronics from that airplane and throw it into this, and you're ready to go flying again. And you'll have a beautiful new airplane. And that's what I'm saying is, use some of your old electric planes as you get better to move into this stuff. If you're doing the 6S Warbirds, there's a lot of that stuff that you can just put reuse, right in. Reuse, reuse it. it and put it right into one of unless these when you been, lose it. Unless you don't Unless you just it destroyed anymore. it or whatever, yeah. If but you crashed it and it really hit. That's what we're doing, though. We've got a 1,700-millimeter Corsair power system we're going to put in here, and it's going to fly the heck out of this well, thing. You won't have to. It, it'll be a it'll, well, it, Taking off is going to be interesting, though. Woo. That torque is going to be a <laughs> But it'll be cool. All you gotta do is ease it. We always More dream. More power is better than less power. And it's funny because we always dreamed of being able to swing a big four-bladed prop when That's we were doing this back in the day. Because but with so the electric, stale. we can do it. You yeah. can't do it with gas. Well, you can. You can, but but it's not. It's, it's, it's different. It's, it's different. It's different. It just, the, the and we're not saying we're against gas, guys. We no. will probably do some gas stuff on the channel eventually. But when I do a gas plane, I want it to be huge. Um, right, quarter scale. Right. Above. When I'm this littler stuff, I love the little stuff. But this is where my electric stuff, I've already got the 6S batteries. I don't have to buy anything crazy to make this one fly. Um, well, when they start going 12S, like the storage, I'd like to make it gas eventually. Because it's right now I'm running 12S in that. And you're talking a lot of power at that point. I'm telling you, you yeah. it, it really makes some noise when you plug it together. So, uh, you know, we're going to keep electric on our twins, too. The HE-111 is going to be an electric also, but it's small electric motors, and they're in there. I've got the Admiral Motors for it. Yeah. Um, we're using the ones recommended for it. But, but I, uh, I want to really stress, guys, that me seeing what I've seen being the older guy, I wouldn't hesitate 
on buying any of this. This is quality stuff. Oh yeah. I mean, and I'm I mean, telling you, this is this is all a lot of the work that I used to do, like the push rod. We had to order push rod the rods all in a three foot rod right. and cut them down, or you'd order some of the smaller ones. You'd have to measure all that and put the Z bend in it. Yeah, they're that. already put together. That's all done. They're I mean, they're put together even. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's just. Um, the amount of time you say it's it's funny to us just because dad comes from the days when art was a brand new thing and they've come so far oh my god you gotta drill out the holes for your motor oh my gosh i mean of course depending on what motor, motor it is, is you want to do that. i'm sorry but you gotta drill out it's not coming with pre-drilled holes in the motor but uh motor mount but uh it is what it is oh it's tough. so difficult that's, uh, that's tough stuff. but we're really impressed with it so Let's have a little fun for you guys that have stuck it out with us tonight. Yep. Uh, you deserve this tonight. So, we're going to bring something special on the screen right now, right, Lori? Mm -hmm. Is it still set up? It will be. But it's not what you think. Tonight we are giving away a $50 gift card to Motion RC. Thanks to Dave Kowiski. Everybody, thank Dave Kowiski so much. He sent this to us and said, Hey, man, I want you to give this away on the show. So, we're not doing the jet tonight, but we are super thankful for Dave Kowiski for sending this over and making it happen for you. Tonight's wheel goes to 5 0. 50 people in this instantly. Now, rules to the drawing for you guys that haven't been here before. Enter one time. If you do it more than once and we catch you, your name is instantly out. When I tell you a key phrase, you are going to type that key phrase right then and enter it. And that will be your entry. Lori will stop this once I've said it. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. Has to be spelled correctly. Um... That's pretty much how this goes. It's super easy. So, everybody on the same playing field, make sure you fast forward your video right now because if you're a little behind, you're a little behind in the drawing. So, fast forward and get yourself we'll give all you the time way back to up. Warm your fingers That's up. That's right. Warm up your fingers. And make sure you get into the. Where, where so, I'm going to give you a two. Mm, let's see. I'm going to give you a two letter phrase here in a second. Two and you're, letter? Two. Or two words. Two letters. Two letters. I'm going to give you two letters. When you hear me say it, you're going to type them in into the chat, and it has to be spelled correctly. The two letters I say have to be they the two letters. Be, they don't have to be in big letters or small. They no, be I just need you, you to make it the, the right two letter. letters I ask, and I need well, you to enter this capital, one anyway. time. Only put the phrase one time. Time. I know this is difficult, guys. This is it's very a, difficult. This is I know. For fifty bucks. Fifty dollars off of this airplane. Of of this airplane. There you go. Doing? It would buy you the motor for this airplane. <laughs> so, buy the servos. Are you ready, Lori? Are you ready? You're going to be able to stop the chat. All right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. M. B. Mary Boozer. M. B. B. Not G. B. M. Not G. B. M. Like Mary. B. Like boy. There you go. Mary Boozer. M. B. Go. 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 First. 50. I know it's ten seconds. Remember. Yeah. There it is. There's our first there one. Go. Robert or Tip is our first M. B. There it is. Stop it. Woo, baby! They came flying in. All right. Now it's always the fun part. We get to count all this, depending on where this spinner is going to hit. JCP, JCB67 is second. Spencer Keith is third. Oh, make sure that the live Watt. chat's in uh, real time, is too. Fourth. David Not Snyder top chat. Is fifth. Yep, change that. Eric RC is uh, sixth. So I, maybe everybody can see that, but I'm kind of. Uh, that. Who was our first person? Uh, did you right see there. It? There it is. There it is. MBs. There they start. Okay. Robert or 
Something is our very first number one guy. All right, Lori. We've got our thing set up to count. I'm going to walk up here so I can actually read this. But Lori can read it. Yeah, Lori can. All right, everybody. Gonna so we're going to spin the wheel. We're going to count down from... Who was it? Was the first number one? Robert. 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 I've or, never heard. Or clip. Or clip. Or something. Alright. Spin the wheel. Is second. We give it a good spin. But we can't put the chat good. on the screen for them to see it. There we go. Ding dang it. Number. Oh, goodness. oh, goodness. oh my goodness, it's number oh, 50. 50. No. We're going to be here oh, counting oh, forever. Oh, <laughs> oh, Alright, Lori. Oh, here we go. Lori's counting. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one don't count. Nope. Nope, doesn't count. Nine, Nine ten, eleven, twelve, nope. Nope. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Rupins was the last one. Eighteen, 18 19, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, that don't count. 25, don't 26, count. 27. People that can't follow directions and typed out our whole name don't Tyler count. Jerry was the last one at 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Derek was the last one. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I'm pretty sure Chick Six has already entered once, but we're not. Three, four, three, four, 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 five, four, six, four, seven. Ah! Where'd it go? I don't know what the last one was. There it is. Seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Now we didn't have. No, oh, okay. He's here all the time. Well, wait a minute. Wait, did we we didn't have any. Now I don't want everybody yelling. There was two entries. Did anybody see the same guy enter twice? Probably. I'm not going to go back and recount it, guys. I tried to play this as fair as I can. We have counted down 50 people in there. And I can't... He's in here all the time. Okay. Wait, wait, where'd he go? Jermaine, but I don't know how to say his name. Jermaine Spencer. Spencer. There we go. Okay. I see you in here all the time, it's Jermaine. Like we counted down. You were the 50th person to put MB... I hope in, in the future, guys, we try and play this as fair as possible when we do something like this. We just counted down 50. If this was for the airplane or something, I'd be real careful and I'd check it. But tonight, this was just for fun. Jermaine, buddy, I see you in a bunch of stuff in here. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you have Facebook, hit me on Facebook. If you have Instagram, hit me on Instagram. Hit me anywhere you want, Jermaine. I know I see you on a bunch of different stuff, though. Um, shoot me a, a message in one of those and we will get you hooked up and I know you're also friends with like Dave's RC and a bunch of other people so I see in a bunch of stuff so we'll hook you up with that $50 gift card after the show tonight um, just hit me on any of the messengers that you want I've got all of them it's that easy if you can't hit me up on Facebook or Instagram then you can't have it so just sign up for one it's not hard <laughs> So anyway, guys, that is it. So as Jermaine, he said, uh, GB Linden says, Jermaine has the best luck. Congrats. Mm -hmm. my, so I think he won good. something on Dave's RC show, too. All right. Timothy Tutone, thank you, sir. So, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the show tonight. We had a little technical difficulty that we still don't know what happened. The computer just turned off. We have no idea. Lori's like, hey. We were all going, what happened? It turned off and the, the, literally the, the TV turned off. Twice. I don't understand. Her computer turned off. The second screen turned off. But somehow the cameras were still working and the microphone was still working. We don't know what happened. And the computer was off. I'm talking like off. And it was still projecting. So we have no idea. Maybe, maybe somebody didn't like us over in China or something. We got hacked. They call it gremlins. Gremlins. War it happens. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed the unboxing tonight of the Nexa P47. I almost called it a P51. Yeah. I'm glad it's not a P51. We've got enough P51s. I 
secretly though, P-47s are like my favorite warbird to fly. I love these you things. You can't go long, wrong. You if can't go wrong. first warbird is a, if Foamy would get a P-47. <coughs> first balsa. I mean, E-fly, 1.2 P-47, fantastic. When, when I was thinking about building my first quarter scale airplane, Everybody I, I said was that. asking around, and at that time, <coughs> they said build the P-47. It was a yellow, I think it was a yellow kit. They're probably still around today and some other. But they everybody said to build the P-47. I didn't do it. I actually went to the zero and I wasn't dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, and, and, you know, the, the thing about a P-47, it's the wings, the wing loading, the, the wide gear, which the Zero had the same thing. If you kind of look at them, they kind of have the same resemblance of each other in a way as far as wing loading and the whole thing. So that's what worked. Now, would I tell you to go out there and buy, buy an ME109? No. <laughs> no. They're fun. They're I do fun, love an ME109, but, I mean, but get not, your skills up first. A, a Spitfire? Spitfire. No. Uh, because of that narrow landing gear. I mean, they're just... Uh, uh, a real, they're just like the foamies. I mean, you know what I'm saying, guys? But when you do hit, you're going to be repairing something. So, uh, <laughs> the air marshal, the Dyna P47 flies great when it flies. Jab. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Wesley's going to actually have a Dyna <laughs> airplane up uh, in the next few weeks. It was up today. Yeah. It was up in the air. Um, Anyway, uh, guys, be looking forward next week. Like I said, we're going to unbox the HE-111. That's going to be a lot of fun. Papa's going to take this one home and get started on it. Yeah. Be looking on Hobby, Hobby Squad, Squad Forum. He's going to be, be doing under a the, daily if update. If not there, it'll be under the Warbirds. Right. But He's going to be... the Warbirds are actually the second... It is. Uh, and But I think he is going to start a separate thread than the Nexa P-47 official thread. Right. Um, I think that thread is more for uh, some different stuff. I think we're going to do a build thread of Papa's it'll actual be, experience. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I'll ask James how they would prefer it in there, and we'll do it one of the two ways. I... Wherever it is, you'll be able you'll to see it on there if you're it. following the forum. So. And it'll have, if, when you find it, it'll have my... And then once it's loser. built, we will fly it here on the channel. You'll see everything we can do with it. So it's going to be a fantastic we airport. We are going to fly Yeah, heck yeah, you'll fly it. Why not? You scared of it? No, it's a P-47. But have I ever got to fly one from the first good go? Well, no, I, I'm, I'll, just, I'm just pulling this chain. I'll, I'll, I'll probably fly the Maiden and we'll get the filming done on it and then he'll fly it. But yeah, you can fly it. What the heck? What did did anybody ever see? Uh, uh, I, I never did see. Uh, who am I thinking about? Was well, I was going to get the the information? Jeff's customer yeah, yeah, yeah. I have him on Instagram. We can okay. get him after. Well, this. I, I answered your question, Jeff. If you weren't in here earlier, I asked you. He did I on your fuel you coding and the back. pins and everything. I so. don't know if it was Jeff that asked me about, but but the. The size of the dots and the link between them, I answer that question. Okay. Well, guys, I really have had a good time tonight, and I hope you have too. Um, we're, we're nowhere but up here on the Mary Boozers channel. We're super excited to be getting back into some balsa stuff. Um, this is about my size right now for balsa. I can do the big ones, but this is something you can do quickly on the channel and and i can still stay electric right now which i've got the batteries for it and it just makes sense right now so man without further ado guys get out there and fly with your friends if you got your papa still around maybe get him into the sport with you it's something great to do with your family um even your wife maybe if you're lucky like me <laughs> and the people that were asking a minute ago did we miss any questions he's right here we did not answer the cat uh, Lori. if you know if you guys have questions about this airplane, let us know on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Hobby Squawk, wherever you want, and I will gladly snap pictures of whatever you need to know about it and send them to you. Um, I know that we're one of the first YouTube channels to have this airplane. 
Um, and if you're needing to know something about it before you make your purchase, just let me know, and I'll be glad to snap a picture. And, and I really believe, guys, that I, it, this won't be a, a long build, mm -hmm. so it won't take us very long to no, get I it together, either. and you, you can go ahead and order one of these There's things. There's not a lot to so this airplane. give us about two, two weeks. Two weeks, three weeks, yeah. As soon as I get the parts in, and I just release the ad on it and say, go... Because he's not going to have to stop to film on this one. So it's going to be, he's going to put this one together fast. So anyway, and he's retired. So, so just to give you an idea of what, what I'm thinking, that, that how long it might take us from beginning right. to end, where we actually do a video two weeks. When we finish unless it in the build, we'll bring it back on the channel. Unless something to show you. we don't know about comes along and right. we don't know about but, it. But anyway. Guys, it's been a lot of fun. It's been real. Let's let them go. Yeah. Um, we'll see y'all next week. Same time as always. Uh, we have videos coming out this week. Please tell your friends. Bring them to the Mary Boozers channel. It's always fun. Our winner, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Uh, Jermaine Spencer. I'm going to tell you, right, say your name right here in a second. Hit me up, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, and I will send you that card right now. And keep coming by the Boozer because we will give away that airplane. Yep, there's an F4 in the near future. If but once again, we're not telling you when or where, and All we're not floating we it anywhere be, but here on the show. Be after 3,000, so keep coming by. Who knows? See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Fly with your friends.